Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here for another video. It is King Nugs the Bearaholic back with another one. <sighs> All right. What I got for you guys today is Bison Brewing Company's organic gingerbread beer, or gingerbread ale, I should say. Uh, let me go ahead and crack this open. Well, it's, I did a written review. I'm going to start doing my little written reviews before I do these videos, so I have the information for you guys already. Uh, now, in my little sample glass, I didn't get much of a head with this beer, but... Oh, got a pretty good one here. It's a slight tan color. That will go up on the wall of fame back here. So, here we go. Organic gingerbread ale. Artisanal seasonal. Ale brewed with organic spices. Organic. It says USDA organic right there. Alright. So I got a little info for you. This beer is out of Berkeley, California. The ABV is six percent. The IBUs are twenty. So it's not it's not very bitter at all. Uh, but all right. From their website, it said a delic delicately spiced holiday porter brewed with ginger, nutmeg, and a touch of cinnamon. So we'll uh, see how that goes. Uh, let you guys look at this real quick. Now, I don't know if you can tell on the camera there. Let me take you to the window. But this beer, just like the ass kisser I just did yesterday, very see-through. It's like a reddish brown, very see-through. I mean, you can clearly see right through that beer, so it's definitely not black. But it is, uh, I'm guessing, a porter-style beer. Um, it doesn't say that on the bottle, but... Uh, I believe that's what it said on the website, but I, I didn't write that down. So, alright, and then let me go ahead and get a smell of this. Right off the bat, right off the bat, you get that smell of ginger, nutmeg, spices. A uh, little tiny bit of cinnamon, but it's almost, it, it's not really there and stuff, so... Smells like you're basically cooking gingerbread cookies in the oven, basically. Uh, yeah, let's see what I wrote down for my for my uh, sample earlier. For the appearance, I said it was another reddish brown, very see-through beer in my in my sample glass. Very little head, which, like I said, in the sample glass, I wasn't able to get much of a head, but in this glass, I was. I'm able to pour more. I mean, my sample glass is tiny. But, anyways, and for the smell, I wrote down very much nutmeg and spices, smell of gingerbread cookies in the oven. No hop aroma, though. There is absolutely, to me, I don't smell any kind of hop, any kind of, any kind of aroma like that. So, uh, let's go ahead and taste this. Cheers. That smells good. Now the mouthfeel, the mouthfeel is very medium bodied, easy drinking, it leaves a slight little tingle, uh, very dry finish, to me it leaves a very dry finish, it leaves, it leaves me just like, but, uh, <laughs> um, and it leaves me thirsty, it doesn't really, it's not a thirst quencher, that's for sure, it's not, not a thirst quencher. As for the taste, let me go ahead and take another drink here. See, the cinnamon comes out in the taste. You get that little bit of cinnamon taste and stuff. Slight cinnamon, spice, nutmeg, slight malty. It's It's got that malty, you know, that grainy kind of taste to it. Uh, 
slight malty, small, small little bitterness. I do taste a little bit of that 20 IBUs, but it's not much at all, really, honestly. Um, <clears throat> metallic. I do, it, it almost tastes like uh, it was brewed, I, I don't know how to put it. Almost like it sat in a can too long, but obviously I got it out of a bottle. But um, it just seemed like it, it sat in a like something like aluminum or something for too long, and it kind of got that metallic taste to it. It uh, I really I, I don't like that taste in my beers. It kind of bothers me, but I'm not gonna judge, I guess. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, and then you get that ginger taste also. It it. it it's not as strong as it should be for this kind of beer. I mean, if you're going to call it a gingerbread ale, I, I would expect a little more ginger. I mean, it smelled like, like I said, gingerbread cookies baking in the oven, but the taste, it's just not there for being called a gingerbread ale. I expected a little more. Um, but it is good. It is good. Don't get me wrong. I, I do like this beer besides that metallic taste, and I would add a little more ginger. <clears throat> so... I'm going to go ahead and give this beer an overall rating. Uh, I, you know, like I said, it could have had more ginger. The taste could have called, you know, it, it just, it sh it, that's really the only thing. Get rid of that metallic taste. I don't know what's causing that. I don't know if it's an ingredient or what, you know, what it's being brewed in or something. Or it could be because it's organic. I don't know. I have not had very many organic beers. If I'm not mistaken, I've only had two. And this is number two. So, uh... But it's good. It's good. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a good six. I'm gonna give this beer a big old fat six. That's about you know half. It's uh, one to ten. One's bad. Ten's good. So it's it's a you know one step above you know average or whatever. So uh, but it is good. It is good. I'm not gonna bash it. Just if it didn't have that metallic taste and it had a slight more ginger, I'd probably bump it up to a seven or eight. Because I do like it. So, um, with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Stop wasting your guys' time. Cheers and beers. Later. <laughs>